Hello my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, how you doing today? It's the day I promised you, finally. First I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, old and new. I love you guys. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. It's that simple. Join me. Pull up a seat. Let's eat. So guys, I promised you this. I promised it to you. And I got my steak knife and fork. I don't know if we're going to be using that fork too much. I have some barbecue steak sauce. I made it. It's ketchup, barbecue sauce, and we're just a char. Um, and I have some. I just created something here. <laughs> this is herb and cashew rice. Herb and cashew rice. Just like it sounds. I made some rice and beef broth. Threw some herbs and cashews in it. Asparagus. Sautéed with lemon pepper crack. And we have the granddaddy. The granddaddy of steaks right here. The tomahawk ribeye. You know it. You know I don't usually cut them. I usually just pick them up and eat them. But I just want to cut into this one today because I just knew it was going to cut like butter. I just knew it. I just knew it. Yeah. So smooth. Yeah. It should be, it should be medium. That's what I was shooting for. I used the thermometer, so we'll see. Grilled outside. As you can see from that little clip I showed you in the beginning. I char grilled the edges. Mm. That's what char grill is. You go ahead and set it on fire. <laughs> but this is definitely the meal I was trying to get to you. Check it out, guys. We're going to do it. Gotta have that thumbnail. I think I hear FedEx. guy loves to honk and knock on the door. He's old fashioned. I 
That's fine. The fork is too much trouble. I don't need it. short current event for you. Just a short current event. Happened in Milwaukee. And it happened at a McDonald's. Four women, four women, placed an order inside a McDonald's. They said they added, asked for an extra hamburger. They didn't get it. The cashier said they didn't, he didn't hear them ask for anything extra. So they re were refusing to pay. So the cashier took the bag, took the bag of food, and he threw it away. Called the police. The ladies would not leave. Well, all of them left except one came back. The other three left. The one that came back came back with a gun, shot the cashier in the face, over a hamburger. This is the point we're looking at mostly, over a hamburger. The young man survived, thank God. He survived to tell the story, so that's a good, a great thing, because this was his his version of the story. What is wrong with people? That even the women are going crazy now. The women are shooting people over hamburgers now? <laughs> I really don't know. It's sad. You know, a steak has to be big when you can rest your hand on it. <laughs> you can use it for a hand rest. <laughs> but guys, you know, this steak is going to come back. It's going to come back as a steak salad. Steak and eggs.
a Philly steak and cheese. Until it's gone. I'll freeze it. As soon as I'm done taking little cuts off of it, I'll freeze the rest for all of these dinners that I'm telling you about right now. A lot of fat on the edges. And look. Look. This is this is more like medium rare. But that's okay. Because when I reheat it, that'll finish cooking to medium where I really want it. Because I don't mind medium rare either. As you can see, I'm all about, I'm all about my cow still milling. I'm all about that. That's the life I'm about. Cow still moving. Chewing some of that, you know, pulling some of the fat away. I'm not going to eat all that fat. <laughs> it had a nice thick layer on the outside of it, which is a good thing because. That's what keeps the steak so tender. Mm -hmm. and herb rice with a beef broth it turned out dandy Turned out dandy. All that meat now. This was um about four pounds, three pounds, about three and a half pounds. what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take one more bite for you. And the rest is coming back. It's so good.
Breakfast is going to be special. I'm going to tell you that. My rice out. Well, guys, that's it for now. Tapping out. Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.